Hey, welcome to Bill Reichenbach TV, and I'm your host, Bill Reichenbach. Um, we're going to go right after things today because I've already poured Weinstefaner uh, Dunkelweiss, which is a dark wheat beer from Germany. Weinstefaner Brewery uh, being a, a really, really old brewery, one of my favorite, um, actually, I think the best wheat beer I've ever had on draft is from Weinstefaner. And uh, again, this is their. Um, Hefeweitz uh, beer dark as it says on the bottle and uh, if you can see that label um, it's a tall bottle and all the times this will get turned you know poured which I don't have it in uh, a very tall glass uh, the head went down already and what am I tasting I tell you it's a little spicy I think I taste a little banana on it um, like a little cloves too but anyway, um, that's just one of the beers that we're going to be trying out today. We just took some um, photos of um, some appetizers and some food to go with it. So we have, um, I have to make sure I don't burn my finger here. I have um, garlic uh, shrimp. It's supposed to be sizzling, but the sizzle's already gone down. I have um, some curried bratwurst, which is very German. And uh, goes very, very well, I have to say, with this... Uh, Mmm, really good. I love bratwurst. And with curry, it's out of this world. It's really good with the uh, wheat beer. Let's see. Again, that's not the only beer uh, that we're going to be trying today. I'm going to end up cutting this tape, Larry, so that's okay, because I'm going to walk away and uh, find those other beers that I brought in here. They're over here. I didn't, you know, I didn't do uh, any research on these products. For those of you who want to criticize my um, my tasting, I'm just tasting them uh, from scratch. Now, my man um, Larry over here was helping me out. He put his finger inside the glass, which is a, is a no-no in my book. But now he's going to wipe it for me because uh, I just don't know where his finger's been. And honestly, I don't want to know. <laughs> but... Um, what do we got over there, Larry? I picked out a couple of interesting things. I'm going to have to read it off the label. I apologize about that. We have dog. the Gonzo, Flying Dog Gonzo uh, Imperial Porter. Now, Flying Dog, is uh, they've moved around a bit, and I know that they've just opened up a humongous uh, beer uh, hall in um, Princeton, New Jersey. The only reason I know is because my wife told me she saw it there. I hope it works out for them. But uh, an Imperial Porter... I'm expecting it to be huge, tremendous, uh, black, um, or almost black, dark, dark, dark brown. And I haven't tried this before. Um, it's a 12-ounce bottle. Um, if you can see it, they, they have some really cool artistic uh, uh, stuff on it. And I wish uh, I, had, I had done a little research for you, but we're just going to go with it, and I'll let you know uh, what it tastes like uh, from my perspective. Do we have a, a bottle opener? In the meantime, I'll eat some of this fried cauliflower. Mmm. You know what? Everything tastes so damn good fried. Including the cauliflower. Can't go wrong with the... Oh, I like that big wine glass over there, please. Thank you. Now we got a beautiful glass to drink out of. And uh, here goes Flying Dog Gonzo Imperial Porter. Let's see, are we getting a head on that? Sometimes I have to like make a head, but this one is not, it doesn't have a whole lot of a head on it. And I, I poured a lot in order to get that head. And now it's just. Now you can smell uh, the roasted barley malt right away. I'm expecting probably burnt chocolate flavors of toffee. Uh, but, but here goes a sip because that's always the tell all. And yes, I swallowed it. There's a, there's a bit of alcohol I can taste on it. Mildly sweet, but not overly sweet. You know, this is a, the, the kind of porter I like. Um, 
because I can. It's got like a coffee thing going on, like espresso, uh, uh, burnt chocolate. Like I said, I could smell it now. I can taste it. And and really really tasty. I bet you it would go really good with a piece of chocolate cake. Um, and uh, between uh, these two beers, because I'm going to end up drinking them, I'm going to be feeling uh, mighty good, and I still have a, a lot of work day to go. What time is it now, Larry? Four o'clock. We got four o'clock, and uh, I'm already drinking beer. And what do I have over there? That's a, I don't know if this is a collaboration beer. I just grabbed it out of our deep, uh, deeply stocked uh, cooler. Kona Coffee, um, Maui, Coconut Porter. And this is another porter with an alcohol percentage of 8.5%. And uh, who is doing this? Um, I believe this is a Firestone Walker uh, beer. And it's brewed with Kona coffee, macadamia, macadamia I'm sorry, uh, nuts, and, and toasted coconut. Wow, this should be a, a real, real, real big treat. And it is a... Uh, it's bottled, uh, brewed and bottled by Stone Brewing Company. I don't know why I thought it was Firestone Walker, uh, which is another California brewery, but this just might be a collaboration. And I apologize to the brewers out there uh, for not doing my research before we crack these open. But, you know, this is our TV show. We're trying to have fun. And that's it. If you don't like it, tough titties. And uh, let's see here. I need another glass. This time I have a tall, skinny glass. Um, you know what? I'm going to grab another one of these beautiful wine glasses. I, I can get it. I'll just trim that out. Mm. I need a napkin. Because th it's not that they come out of the box dusty. I think it's just sitting in here. Wow. It's kind of got a little glaze. Anyway. Well, it might not be the cleanest of all glasses. There's no smell in it, because nobody smokes or anything anymore. This is, uh, what did I call it? The coconut porter. Right? Coconut. Wow. What am I smelling? Not coconut. I don't know what I'm smelling. Some tobacco? Alcohol. I think alcohol. Well, here goes a taste. What, would I, what am I going to cleanse my palate with? Uh, Dunkel Weiss? Now that's rich. But it is good. Richer, deeper than the um, Gonzo Imperial Porter. Better. Sorry, flying dog. Better than the Gonzo Imperial Porter. At least on my palate at this moment, at this time. So many things do um, affect um, the experience of um, beers. And um, I don't really taste coconut, maybe vanilla. But I, I'm going to uh, highly recommend uh, this stone, Maui Stone... Ken something or other, coconut porter, just uh, out of this world, and I don't know the price on it, I can't tell you that, I don't know what uh, we paid for it, um, but with the, the food that we're eating, uh, these products are going really, really well, and I just want to remind everybody that the Great World Beer Festival, Brewtopia, is happening in New York City. At Center 548, that's 22nd Street on the west side, 548 West 22nd Street. There's going to be over 50 brewers. It, it's going to be a damn good time. Live music. Uh, as good a food as we can put together for you guys. And I know it's going to be great. Uh, uh, there's a, a Mexican team coming that makes fantastic Mexican food. Um, Phil's uh, Philly uh, cheesesteak sandwiches are out of this world. And uh, it, they're just the kind of perfect food and bratwurst and stuff that you want uh, with your beer. Like I'm eating now, like the curry bratwurst. And uh, that would be great if you could do fried cauliflower over there. People would love it, I think. But um, Brewtopia, uh, often also called the Great World Beer Festival because the number of uh, 
other groups, coffee companies calling themselves Brewtopia. There's another beer company in Australia calling Brewtopia. Uh, I never thought that was a, such a great name uh, in the first place, but that doesn't matter. It's the show that counts. People put a lot of heart, soul, and love into this show to bring to bring what I think is the best beer festival in New York. And uh, other people are trying to do beer festivals now. Um, this is the one where people care about beer, want to educate you on beer, and uh, have great relationships with the brewers. And... Um, and that's all I can tell you. And um, thank you for uh, coming and uh, watching our show. And uh, I'll see you uh, next time. Thank you very much. Have a great night.